Welcome back to what could possibly be the worst and most cringy show I've ever seen. MILF Manor on TLC, their learning channel, by the way. We're learning all about how they've made a show about a bunch of 40 to 6 year old moms that have around 20 year old sons and they brought them all to date each other. Like, there's just this big. <sighs> Mom G. <laughs> More G. They should, they should just rename the show Sweet Home Alabama or something at this point. <sighs> so in the last episode we did on this, they, they brought everybody in, they introduced everyone. They had like this one mom who's like, my daughter died, you know, a year ago, but here I am with my son to, to date kids younger than my passed away daughter. And I can't get over that still. <laughs> Uh, the whole oh, thing yeah, is just that one's tough. It's so cringe. The whole thing is extremely cringe. So we're here for more cringe because if you watched it, you know what's coming. Shirts are coming off. Moms are getting blindfolded and they're going to be filling up possibly their own kids. Ah! <laughs> Gabriel's a twin. Oh, wow. But they don't look alike. Fraternal. They're fraternal. So you brought the ugly one. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Wow. Mom. Please, he's right there. Jeez. Good Lord. <laughs> yes, he's so hideous. Mm, indeed. Wow. Thanks, Mom. All right. Maybe she's just like, <laughs> I'm about to kill you. We get a text. We have our first no, challenge. She's fine with it. Never mind. All the young men yeah. take their shirts off. Ah, oh, taking their shirts off. You, you, you. Everyone but me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, you know, you're just not good enough for my standards, you know. <laughs> you need to have abs. Yeah. You want to get with a 50-year-old Barbie doll. <laughs> Figure out by touching their chests and abs and shoulders which one is their son. The two oh. win the best sweets in the whole house. Oh, okay. You get sweets? This is for sweets. Go fill up your kid. For a candy bar. No, ah! no, they're, they're talking about the rooms. They're talking about the rooms they're staying in. Oh, got you. That makes all right. All right. I, fair. Fair. All right. Tell me which one's worse, because I, I thought that they were like filling them up to see like which ones they liked. Right. Like, oh yeah, oh yeah. You, this is you know, I, I, I pick you, Pikachu. But uh, is it worse that they're doing? They're not doing that, and they're trying to figure out who their son is based off of their abs and shoulders. I think it's worse. Yeah, I think this is worse. I mean, I, I can see like they go, oh, yeah, I like this. And they take the blindfold off. And they're like, oh, my gosh, that's my son. Big surprise. But no, it's like, oh, yeah, I know these abs anywhere. They're my son. I'm very familiar <laughs> with my these. Son's abs. Yeah, I know these ones <laughs> yeah, by touch, blindfolded. Yeah. Oh, uh, boy. You've never rubbed me up and down. Oh, so, no, my God. So, yeah, you don't know who's who, so... It's going to be a scary time. It's going to be a scary time. Do they all have the same necklace on too? Or is it just like a fashion thing? Is this like a fashionable necklace these two dudes have it on? Do they all have it? No, they don't all have it. It must be just like a... Okay. They, they must be selling it like a, you know, Hollister or wherever they get all their clothes from. Abercrombie and Fitch. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully I don't pick them first because then, yeah, we'll have a nice room, but it's like, I kind of want more than that. Huh? What? What does she mean she wants more than that? From her son? The nice room? Wait, wait. Oh, what? I'm hoping, uh, that, well, I don't even know. I'm, I'm assuming she means she wants to, like, fill everybody up, you know? That's what she, right, that's... Uh, <laughs> like, even the mom's like, <laughs> look at his face. He's just like... Why am I here? Like, why, why do I do why? this? <laughs> have they even interviewed him, <laughs> interviewed him yet at all? I don't think they have. I don't think so. He must be the one dude that's actually like, this is awful. And they're like, mm, don't interview him. No, skip, <laughs> skip. <laughs> <laughs> skip. <laughs> 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 Are they now finding it weird? I don't know. Like now they look like they're uncomfortable. My mom never really shows me like the younger guys that she dates or especially like touching them in front of my face. I mean, that's that's pretty weird to me. Yeah. Oh, it's just now weird to you. Yeah. Welcome to the show, buddy. <laughs> well, God, well, the way your mom talks, how does she, there's no way she hides it. There's no yeah, way. My mom never introduces the other young guys that she dates <sighs> and be like, hey, look at your new stepdad. He's younger than you. Hey, <laughs> Joey. It's my son. Oh, you off. Oh, Why are they so excited right now? What what happened? That she got it wrong? She lost. That means the others have a chance to win, I guess. Okay. Yeah. It's like, what is there to celebrate? I don't understand. I'm so lost. <laughs> I'm so lost. Do they don't understand Ugh. how everyone on this show is a massive loser. Everybody on the show has <laughs> lost the game. Okay? <laughs> You've all lost. She was really touchy-touchy. Fantasy sweets! 
sorry, so young. <laughs> like, what the hell? I don't think Jimmy will want somebody touching me. That would have been game, right? It would have been killer. Is she gonna murder oh someone? My God, is she jealous? I don't, what is happening? I have this, I can't make sense of it, but the way she like said, killer. Killer. Oh God. I have no interest in watching <laughs> my mom fill on men. I'm not here for that. Oh, nice mm. pics. Yeah, yeah, nice yeah. I like how they all like now they're seeing what's happening. They're all like, oh, this is bad. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All of a sudden, like, I don't. Oh, wow. All, when, it, when it comes like them and their kids, all of a sudden, they're like, hang on a minute. I don't like this now, but I'm going to keep doing it anyway. <laughs> this feels like my child. Okay, I'm going to say yes. This, this, this feels like my child. This feels like my child. Ah! Oh, that's weird. Oh, man. Maybe he still uses the same lotion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> I don't know, man. Oh. I mean, I figure like once you're, you know, no longer a, a child, you know, your mom isn't like, <laughs> I don't know. I just don't Applying feel like your lotion. I yeah. just don't feel like your mom should recognize you by filling of your abs. And <laughs> it's, wow. it's, it's weird. Okay. Congratulations. I guess you, you have to be able to reference something. Like, it's not like you just, like, randomly guess. Like, she's going to be like, hmm, yes, I do remember this feel. Like, that's right. <laughs> okay. All right, whatever. It's shoulder. It's, like, very deep. He doesn't have broad shoulders. He's like, he has slopes. You know, you can you can ski off of them things. I got you. Yeah, yeah, obviously. <laughs> He's got a long neck. Yes. This is really easy for me. This is Jose. <laughs> oh, she knew. She knew. 32 seconds. She's like, bam. My son got him. Wow. But she at least she had a reason. Like she's like, oh, he's got these kind of shoulders, and uh I think they said they yeah. they exercise together or something like that. Is that what she just said? That was the least creepy one so yeah, far. Yeah, that was like the least creepy one. I'm a trainer, you know, I appreciate muscle. She's a so trainer. I actually like this challenge. She's a trainer. When did she become a trainer? Oh, okay. She's like one of those ladies who just kind of does everything. She's also a psychic. <laughs> She's also a CEO, a model. Uh, what, what else? Join her MLM. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's going to say some, <laughs> say some <laughs> say essential oils. I didn't like this challenge. That's my Gabriel yeah. right there. Yeah. He's like, yeah, okay. Yeah, mom, well, thanks. All right. Oh. Harrison. Nope. nope. I was right here. Was, I was right here. Actually, I'm kind of surprised that they don't like she missed old Harrison there because he's like the biggest dude, right? Like, like he's got that the, the meaty shoulders, you know? And like, who, like have hey, they yo, not interviewed look at my dude over here doing? Right, you don't even have a six pack. That's, like, That's why they haven't interviewed him here. yet. That's why they haven't interviewed. They're fat shaming right now. Damn, oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah. Philly. Wow. Yeah. 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 Well, who's that guy? Who's that guy? Who with, that? Who's that guy with the deodorant stuck in his underarm hair? Who's that? <laughs> nope. I'm very excited, so I could feel the abs. I swear, every time that everyone fills him up, he just shakes his head like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's right. That's right. <laughs> oh my God, girl, calm down. <laughs> wow. So young style of trying to pick her son was very aggressive. I mean, the hug actually makes sense, you know. I, I know that I was so young is well, just. Well, yeah. She's uh, she's she's mm. she's disgusting because everything that comes out of her mouth is just yeah <laughs> yeah. But she's like, okay, if I, my son hugs me, yeah, okay. I get the sweet with the hot tub on the patio. You can uh, oh, meet me at the bungalow outside. I don't get Kelly very well. You don't need to always be uh -oh. the center uh -oh. of uh -oh. everything. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Killer. He's like, yo, I just won, not you, lady. Calm down. Like, calm yourself down. I got the hot tub. You ain't getting nothing. You guys got like a living room area. We have everything. Wow. Then they got the beds right beside each other, man. You know, so you can watch your mom. Oh. Watch your mom. God, your... that's so gross. You watch your mom and your At homie At least bang. you can sit on the couch. Yeah, you can watch it from the couch. You can watch it from the air bed. <laughs> okay, Dan, how to, okay. What's the, what's the, what, how, how are they going to do it? Is it going to be the mom is going to bring another son, you know, another, another guy into the room? Or is the son going to bring another mom into the room? <laughs> And the other mom has to sit over there. Uh, <laughs> Which one's worse? I don't know. Sadly, uh, oh, the mom's probably going to be first. Sadly, <laughs> that's that's the worst. You're not worried? A little bit like to sleeping in a stranger house? No, with... I'm just going to stay close to you. Well, we have a good relationship, so there's... So it's okay, right? I mean, I guess. They're, they, they're going to betray us, Dane. They seem like the least creepy so far. There's going to be four of them. 
They're gonna like move the beds together. Ah! <laughs> He's just gonna, we have a very good, we have a very close relationship or something. Oh no! It hits me as sad that I had that thought. These guys seem the most normal, but they're still on the show. So, <laughs> oh god. It's more common for the guys to like the older girls. You know, that's kind of a thing. Like they have milf, they have cougar. We don't have a cute label for young guys. Uh, I don't know if I talked about this last time. People go in the hub and the weird stuff that's on there now, <laughs> and how this show is just like mirrors that almost oh. i've been saying this for years actually like you go on the hub everyone goes on the hub you know don't act like you don't everyone goes everyone's on there whether you're you know anyway you go on there and it's like <laughs> stepmom or you know the the whole meme of i'm trapped in the washing machine you know or stepsister right. or or what was there's like a whole uh, family this and i'm just like right. bruh <laughs> what has happened like Right, and why is it like the most popular, the most watched? Yeah, like, well, I think that's because there are younger people that really shouldn't even be on there that have these odd fancies they don't know what to deal with that are watching on there, and you know they can live through that. So, uh, which is creepy in its own right. But I don't understand yeah. where like this this borderline incest, fantasy incest. You know, it's still stepmom and everything, but it's like it's too close already. Yeah, like, it's gross. When did this become like the main thing? Everyone's talking about all these rednecks and inbred, and and then you, you ever go on the hub? It's like the first page is like, ah, oh. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's, right. And so now it's like the the creator of the show is just one of those people. They were like, you know what? I got a great idea for a show, probably the best ever created. My e internal fantasies that I can never tell anyone about. I'm making a show about it, and the whole time they're just over there watching, like, oh yeah. So, uh, anyway, if you got an opinion about that, let me down there in the comment section. I'm just saying, maybe I'm an old boomer, but it seems really weird. All right, see, that's, I don't know, that could be taken a lot of ways. Kelly is not the natural aesthetic for people that I date, but Kelly's energy is tie hot. Like, the spice level is at an all-time high. You never know what's bound to happen. What do you- What does he mean? She's not the natural aesthetic. She's- She's leathery. Yeah, is he saying there ain't nothing, there's nothing <laughs> natural about her, I guess? Uh, you know, I'm used to a little more authenticity with uh, the ladies I date. and You know, it's, it's not like overdone or anything, but I mean, you can tell like she's got her face lift and like her, her lips are, are, are poofed up and, you know, the you know everything's very stretched. But yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's not offensive to look at. It's just not <laughs> discreet either. Pleasing? <laughs> <laughs> My bad. I am still a MILF. I am not a cougar until I reach a certain age. I don't look at age, though. I think I that's where no. society is totally messed up because I have a younger spirit. Dude, she just hit us with the age is just a number thing. Yes, yeah, she did. Number one red flag of like, oh, oh my God. Oh, God. That's how you could tell the kids on the show, too. <sighs> ah! Well, also, she seems very, like, um, sensitive to the subject about her age because anything like that would define her age whether or not she's a cougar or not it's like i don't see age because mine doesn't exist and also uh <laughs> if i don't think about it my conscience and morals never kick in how old was he oh god uh, it's just a number <laughs> as long as i give my speech about it first it can't be weird right <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah age is just number and you know jail is just a <laughs> Just a box, you know, it's, hmm. <laughs> it's a number of years. I'm going to go to the restroom. Yeah. Everything that's life. come out of his mouth has been just. I'm sweet. just raw. I'm just raw. And I'm just like. You're welcome. Just, this is your dad. <laughs> oh, I love the added swallowing sound effect. <laughs> <They're>... <laughs> oh, I knew this was going to happen. As soon as the other girl stood up and walked away, I was like, time to move in. Give me a look. We're going in together. Going Bye, Joey. The reason why we're here is to date everyone in the villa. She's uh, she's on gross. She's, 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 she's gross. <laughs> to date everyone in the villa. She's starting off right. Oh my god! They just dude. complaining about older guys, and then like the last video we did about how they just want to play the field and all that. And she's over here. I'm gonna date everybody. <laughs> starting the night. I night gotta one. try them all out. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't even unpacked my suitcase. Yeah, for real. See you later, son. I'm Dexy. Wow. Yeah, I go, what are you, W-I-D? What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if he's asking her that or if he's telling her what that means. I'm not too sure. <laughs> Bro, I can't believe you said, what are you doing, mom? <laughs> we just, it's been five minutes. I'm going to the bathroom. You go to the bathroom. 
I'm gonna take my reins up. If Joey continues to cock block me this entire time, he's going to ruin the experience for me. How dare he? And she, oh, oh, dude, she's moved in. She's moved in. Say say real one less. Oh my God. Look at this. You <laughs> Listen to <laughs> no! Surprise. Even the cameraman over here is like, <gasps> <laughs> right. <laughs> Good Lord. Don't be a hater, Joey. Ma, you gotta chill out. So far, we've had some great conversations. I've been very open. I've been. She does not care. Well, I mean, at least they're very open, you know. It's just a, it's like a positive aspect of that. I'm very open, you know. I'm very open. I'm so, I'm so open, you know. I'm, I'm just open. <laughs> you know, I'm open. Hey, mom, what's up? I'm open. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> mom's open too. I promise. <laughs> we know. <laughs> Ain't nothing closed. Where are we going with this? Are we, you trying to get the day one strokes? Like, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> no way. He's got to watch. Well, no way. <laughs> I'm, I, oh man! When does it go from him being like, "Whoa, bro," <laughs> to whole, for real, guys? No, seriously, dude. Seriously. Please, <laughs> no. I, we just got here. I want to seriously stop. My bad. Uh, okay, <laughs> mom. <laughs> yeah, I'm right. Mom's gonna be like, "Yo, we'll just borrow his bed. That way, we don't get mine dirty." <laughs> oh my god, dude! Like, look, like, look at this place. Like, I don't know. Just go somewhere else. <laughs> if you. You don't seriously. Mind, you don't mind your son watching the end. Go freaking out here by the pool, whatever. You know, okay. Yeah, the cameraman. He'll he'll upload you to yeah, the hub. You know, yeah. like <laughs> he'll get you those shots. You know, guy. He's got you. <laughs> Joey, lay down. Make sure you're up. <laughs> I'm cock blocking my mom because. Oh, thank God. God Jesus. Some media me going to, you know, I want to, and then yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, mom, yeah, chill out. And she's, she's gonna be mad. It's like, I can't believe you did that. Dude, she's gonna be so mad. He's grounded. Calm down. <laughs> no. uh, I mean, they, they say, she seems okay with it. It's like a big joke to her. She's like, ha, 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 ha. but if he stayed, uh, yeah, ne <laughs> right. Next, next but if you um, didn't kick him out, yeah, next time I'm gonna need you to leave, son. I'm not like head over heels for anyone. Are you, Paula? Her oh. Stephanie, your mom. Yeah. Oh, Paula. I signed Paula. Checking I Paula out. He's like, hey, Paula, what's up? All right. You know, they're talking about who they what like. Up, what up? You know, one dude's like, you know, I actually don't want to date people twice my age. You know, I'm, we're attractive young men. We can <laughs> just not, you know? <laughs> yeah. We don't have to make it weird in front of our moms either, you know? Mm -hmm. But then the producers are like, no, 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 no. See, like, say something. Say something. I'm a very big feet person. Paula has oh. these feet that I just want to like oil up and lather and just massage and get real warm and then suck the acrylic off some toes. What the fuck? Okay, Jimmy. Everybody's pretty open on this show. Good you know, Lord. All right. We got the feet guy here. He's like, I want to paint them toes and suck the, you know, uh, is that toxic? <laughs> You're going to poison yourself, homie. So he wouldn't even. He, he doesn't see age either. He only sees feet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he's a big feet guy is what he says. So I guess you got big He's got the big ones, yeah. Shove in my mouth. Shove in his mouth. Oh, God, yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> a <laughs> laugh afterwards. <laughs> yeah, can't believe you guys got me to say that. Or <laughs> Did I really just... You guys can put that on TV? Oh, God. We got, like, moms here. Like, we got to really step our game up. <gasps> Wait, oh. He said we can't be vanilla? We got, to step we got moms here. We have to step our game up. I, th I think the way this is going so far, you just need to exist, you know, and you, need, you got game here. Paul, I was thinking I really would love to get to know you and go on a paddle boarding date. Maybe if you're like interested. Yes, I that's cool. Okay. Let's do it. Yeah. He's like, Whoa, bro, that's my mom. Chill out. And I love it about her. Right. What are they doing? She oh. has the idea. Let's do yoga and Put wants your to feet do on the me. airplane. Yeah. And I'm, I'm so for it. Let's do yoga. The airplane. Is this, is this yoga? Cause I, huh. I mean, I do this with my kids, you know, like kick them up in the air and stuff like that. And they're out here. Uh, if you flip them all the way over. You know what I'm saying? I learned that from street fighter too. Ryu does that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You flip them over. <laughs> it's a good move. I was comfortable being, you know, on top of her. Oh my God. Jesus. I was comfortable. You know, uh, I was down with that. Okay. And I used to do that with Jose when he was smaller. I love to do that with kids. So. <sighs> Ugh, don't make that connection. What is wrong with you? Can you not hear yourself? <laughs> Can you not hear the, uh, I don't, I am, I have not been able to figure out the, they have to just be saying this stuff for the camera. No person with like two brain cells is going to go and be like, I'm on a dating show. And it's like, I love doing that with kids, you know? 
<laughs> you know, I just yeah. like dating him and kids and my son. <laughs> and, and, uh. <laughs> right? You know what I mean? Right? No. Oh, wait, why, why not? What do, you, what do you mean? What's weird? What? Chris Hansen, what are you doing? Oh, God. <laughs> mm, this is not real life. So we're going to the bedroom now that your mom's gone. I guess so. Kelly is very assertive, very, God. very direct on what she wants. <laughs> yeah. She's like, hey, let's bang. That's like, that's our opening line. Let's do it. I talked about right. this. I talked about it in the last episode. Like this is why, like these, like these, like these, these. She's out in the club. You know, guys are giving her attention because she's throwing themselves at her, and they're over there, like drawing straws to see who's actually going to do it, and they're going to like make fun of them later. But uh, yeah, it's <laughs> it, uh, God, dude. Well, you can start on your knees. <laughs> I don't think that my mom would approve, but I'm a grown man. I don't need her approval. But don't tell her I said that. Spoken like a ah, true grown yeah, man. Just... There you go. Good job. <laughs> you wear the pants around here. You just don't tell my yeah. mom. <laughs> yeah, as long as she don't know about it. Here's, a, here's another boomer take. I don't feel like people are actually grown until they're like mid-20s. Like, like 26, you know, 25 maybe. It's like, yeah, yeah, you're like, you're 30, 32. <laughs> 32. <laughs> you, know, you, you, still have it, you just still haven't figured out even like when you're older than that. But it's like, it's just like, uh, like... You, how your life changes, like, you know, you're up until, you know, high school, you may be like 17, 18. And then you go, if you go to college or if you go to community college or whatever you do, you, or if you just stay home, like there's, there's that period from like 18 to like 20 something, you're still breaking away from like being dependent on your parents. If you're able to like financially yeah. and everything, uh, like you still don't know what you want. Like you, like, I don't know every, every person in there, like, late teens and, and early 20s seems like they know exactly what they want in life but it's like it's like brave no dude. way it's like you barely even lived life shut up <laughs> you yeah, don't know how the world works yet <laughs> you can't even do your own t you don't even know how to do taxes yet shut up <laughs> <laughs> still working in a part-time job uh, in retail right now don't, don't tell me you got your life figured right. out get, get out of my face uh -huh. <clears throat> some not that's very general right some people do you know depending on like, it's usually people that have harder, more difficult lives that grow up faster, you know. If, but if you're very pampered, like uh, obviously all these kids are, like they they <laughs> it might I, take a little longer. The evidence is also in that you're on this show, okay? <laughs> so that, <laughs> right. that really tells me that your value for Grown your future man. is like, mm, you know, you, you just don't, yeah. <laughs> Grow man. So is have you ever dated older women? I don't think I asked you that. Yeah, I, I usually go for older. I don't know why I just don't believe that. <laughs> yes, I usually go for older, but maybe not quite this old. But not quite my mom. I think I think accents really get her. It doesn't matter what you look like. I think if you have an accent, you have a chance with my mom. You do. Hit it with like the like the, ter <laughs> the terrible Russian accent in video games. Hello, comrade, and she's like, "Oh, take me." <laughs> <laughs> you show up in the bar, you're drunk. Hey, pretty lady. Like, oh, what a great accent you have. Is that an accent? <laughs> uh, say no more. I mean, please say more. So I have to ask. What? What is your type? And I really like men that like to do things like what uh -huh. we just did. I don't like men that just sit down on TV and Ew. just watch TV and do nothing. Oh, thank God I'm safe, Dane. Jesus Christ, uh, you know. <sighs> Well, I'm already, I'm too old to begin with, but oh my God, heck yes. That's true. You were way too old. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Actually, he may be a little hurt after that because he's like, well, how do you like to play video games? I mean, I don't know. Right. He's like, dang, I can't game no more? Dang. Hey, okay. Here's a, here's a hot, a hot conversation. What, what is your opinion on whenever you hear like a relationship and like the woman, the relationships, I, I hate, you know, I do not want a man with video, play video games, you know, that like just really hates the whole video game aspect because it's a very big part of my life. And I know it yeah. is yours too. So what, oh, what I, it's automatic, like, Oh, cool. Well, you know, it just, this doesn't go no further than whatever this is, you know? Like, yeah. Well, I always like wonder, like, what is the, what's the point of that? Like, is it because that they feel that they're, they don't get enough attention, like in the relationship, like that, they're in there playing video games and hanging out with their, their boys, you know, on, on the internet and not spending enough time together. I mean, it can be taken to the stream like that. And I get that aspect of it, but right. whenever I hear it, it's like, Oh, you don't want me to have any interests. You don't, you don't want me to right. have a hobby like playing video games. You don't want me to do anything right. other than or anything in the house. Yeah. Anything in the house. Even if your hobby was like, you know, I want to research 
different things on the computer or whatever, right? Like, yeah, uh, yeah. or I like to read. She doesn't like that either. It'd be like it'd be just like if you had like a you're a, a car guy and you're like out there in the the shop working on your car all the time. Oh my god, he's always working on his car. You know, it's the kind of the same thing, right? Uh, but I do right. under, understand the the relationship dynamic of like you know you get people like need a certain level of attention uh, depending on who it is and all that. But I always feel it's a one way street. Like there's only one person in the relationship that's like, no, I you can't do that. You know? Oh yeah. And then if yeah. that person gets told they can't do something, then it's an issue. It is in general what I I notice, and yeah, it's weird. Yeah, it's just a weird take on relationships in general. You know, you should want the other person to be themselves and be happy and then just include you, you know, like not here. I'm taking your life over, you know, like, (laughs) yeah, both want to be people and happy and then just add each other to it, you know, but whatever. It's like, I want to spend the rest of my life with you, but I don't want you to do anything you enjoy with your life. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, cool. Right. We're going to have a couple yeah. of kids in 10 years. We'll get divorced and then we'll regret our decisions. Yeah, this will be great. <laughs> just take half my shit now. <laughs> I get the fantasy suite tonight. You don't. <laughs> you actually don't. <laughs> Never. <laughs> I don't really know. Here we go. All right. Yeah. Yes. Drama. She's like, nope, you are not getting my room. Move on. Never. I don't think she's the good catch for Jose. No. What if Jose falls in love with Kelly? No, she won't. You see his body language, though? Look at it. No. It's yeah, look at it. His hands are in his pockets, you know. Uh, <laughs> he's taking a defensive stance right now. Yeah, I can tell there. He's, right. he's you know, wondering if he pushes her off the balcony here, if she's going to bounce or not. It's, it's, it's wild. <laughs> Whether she likes it or not, I'm going to do whatever it takes to take my man home. So there is no competition, babe. Oh, God. I'm going to do whatever it takes to take my man home, even if it means... Trying to sleep with every man here, all right? I am, I am right. getting what I came yeah. here for, and it's definitely love. Wink. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, I, I, I'm cool with it. Whatever. She's she's here to bang. Whatever. Just you know, to say it. She uh, called it competition. Yeah. She called it competition, Ken. That's her. That's his mom. <laughs> So it's it's so brain dead, <laughs> but it's so entertaining because it's just it's so dumb and so cringe. Well, let's let's look at the what's coming up next, just see if we want to continue watching. And also, you can let me know the the comments too if you want to continue watching it. Are you good in bed? I know what my needs are, and I know they need to be met like yesterday. Dude, man, <laughs> they're they're here for love, man. They're here to find a relationship, you know, love, true you know, love, true, love. true love, by the way, how, how good, how good is that stroke, bro? What's up? You know, <laughs> I, yeah. I, I need, I need that. Your signature move. Do you have one? I like things kind of slower. So. Uh-oh. Oh. oh, disappointed. I like things slower as in slow down lady. <laughs> what's your signature movie? The pile driver or what? <laughs> in a two oh, minute blind boy. massage. Yes. Oh. Harder. <laughs> Oh god. I think I'm massaging my mom's back. Right there, baby. I kinda wanna throw up a little bit. Dude. <laughs> yeah. Dude. I feel you, man. I'm not watching okay, whatever. We have to, we'll, we'll probably watch more. Uh I'm not gonna spoil anything else because I don't think my body can handle the, the cringe. <sighs> Who would sit there? Your son maybe your son maybe the one massaging you. Oh yeah, baby, that's the spot. Oh yeah. yeah. Whatever. All right, all right. Oh. That's it. Oh, that's it. Thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, everybody, say thank you to Scott in the in the comments. Let him thank him for sitting through the cringe with us and editing this video because you know we we moved past Big Ed and we thought we're moving on to better things, but now <laughs> it's just getting worse. You can probably miss his Big Ed at this point. Uh, thank you guys very much. Today's your birthday. Happy birthday! Success to my friends. We'll see you next time. And I love you. Killer. <laughs>